Buonasera. I wanted to, um, if you <clears throat> watched a vlog right before this, let me flip this down. You saw that we stopped at a little farmer's market on the way home from New York City. And I kind of want to show you, I get questions asked all the time if I could do more grocery hauls and things like that. I don't love doing grocery hauls. <clears throat> One, because when I come home I get kind of in my routine of cleaning things up and getting things put away. And two, you know, we go to the grocery store, I mean we go maybe once a week, twice a week. That's because I film for Laura in the kitchen and I test recipes a lot. But normally, if I'm not filming, I only go once a week or so. Um, but when it comes to summertime and springtime, we are just very blessed with the most amazing farmer stands all over the South Jersey area. So I love to go in there and grab, because most of them, the ones we go to anyway, they sell things that are local, you know, that they grow themselves here in our South Jersey soil. So we're really proud of that. And um, we all, you know, that's always the best to me. So what I want to show you is kind of like a haul of the produce that we got and a little bit about why I like to um, prep the things that I like to prep and things like that. I know that when you come back from the grocery store, it can be overwhelming and you just throw things in the fridge. I've done it. And then little by little, you'll clean things up. But really, it makes the biggest difference when you have a lot of things already prepped and clean. That way, you can eat well all week long. You've got fresh fruit already washed. You've got your vegetables already washed. So it's really easy. And I'll kind of give you a little bit of a rundown of everything. Okay, so we got... Sorry if the lighting is off. I don't know why it does that. We've got grapes. Maybe if I just focus on that because it's supposed to be white. There you go. Maybe that's better. Green grapes, cherries, which are so good. Lots of green beans because I'm obsessed with green beans. And I know that it's not fall, but they had local, locally grown sweet potatoes that are so good from this market. So I had to get one of those, uh, some of those. And then I've got some blueberries from Hamilton, which is where we were. Hamilton, New Jersey, which is the cap blueberry capital of the world. And these were only like a dollar fifty-two bucks because um they're extremely local to us. I'm talking about 20 minutes from where they grow them, and it's amazing. And one day I'm going to take you there and pick them ourselves. And then I also have, don't mind my house, I'm just trying to put everything away and pack watermelon, a little like canary yellow um, melon. And then these, these are kind of like plums. And then we've got peaches, nectarines. So what I like to do is I love to wash a lot of my produce. Like the peaches, nectarines, and these little plums, I washed every single one of them, scrubbed them nicely, put them here to dry. You want them to dry. You don't want to store them all wet because they'll get moldy. And I know that sounds crazy, but you must wash your melons on the actually outside. If you have grown up in a farm area, or if you've ever been around a farm area, you know that actually, I mean, I've seen it with my own eyes many, 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 many times where I see farmers pick up all the uh, produce and stuff like that. They throw the melons on the back of the truck and then they're actually barefoot on the back of the truck and they'll just walk on the melons as to, to stack them. So they're walking with their dirty feet on the melons, which is not, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, so that's why I like to take it home and wash it really nicely. That way it's in the fridge. I don't like to cut it all up right away because I feel like it changes texture. But once it's clean, I can just pop it in the fridge. I can pull it out, slice myself a slice, and I'm good to go. I don't have to worry about taking a clean knife and going down on the dirty, you know, the dirty uh, rind of the melon or anything like that. Also, I love getting my grapes off the stems, getting them washed, getting them dry. You know, just lay them on a kitchen towel, let them dry, and then put them in a bowl so that, you know, you open the fridge and you just pop them in your mouth throughout, throughout the day if you want a healthy snack. Another beautiful meal made by the most beautiful woman on earth. Aww, I just can't get enough of her. I love you, baby doll. We got some pasta fagioli with. <laughs> let's see if I can get this right. Cazzo? Cozze. One day I'll get this Italian. Problem is, she doesn't speak it to me when I'm at home. Maybe you guys can convince her that if she were to speak more Italian, I'd learn it. I've heard a lot of people in the comments say I should learn it through Rosetta Stone, but it's not the same because they speak a dialect. But so I could go there and nobody will know what I'm saying. Of course they would know what you're saying. We all speak proper Italian. Yeah, but I won't know what you're saying. How about that? proper Italian. No. What's that like to I'm going to tell everybody, hey, listen up, guys. It's dinner time. I know you're all having a good time, but you're going to have to speak proper Italian this evening mm -hmm. so that I can understand what's going on around here. So I have uh, a little bit of a pickle. What's that? My voice doesn't sound good or feel good. And um, I have videos to She's on a mission, guys. She's on a mission. You know what we should get, babe? 
should get some corn, cockadooky corn. There is, uh, you know, I don't know why everybody peels it open though. I never got that. Yeah, but if you want to make it on the grill, you can't peel it open because you got to grill it with it still in the in the, in the shell. Ooh, what do we have here? Jersey blueberries. What'd you forget? Forgot your bags. See this? This is what I mean. Everybody does this to it. Yeah, but at at uh, twenty cents a corn, if you get a bad one. Buy one extra, just in case. Well, well, look what we have here. We have Batman. Hey, Robbie. Oh, Catwoman. <laughs> we got the burn, the burn victim over here. How did you burn yourself, anyway? I was cooking hamburgers and splash, splash went the grease. The grease. How splash. did you splash that much grease? That's a what lot happens, of splash. No, it's like the hamburgers when they cook, they like pile up in the middle. And then sometimes if you go near it and you touch it, like the it will pop. Yeah, and, and that grease will. Burn. I like turn off the stove. And then it just went for like a last pop and it just all flew out on my hand. A little bit got on my foot too, but they were only like little red marks. Oh. So they went away. That's, that's yes. Cool. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't bring Sal for you today. We'll get him back in here. And everybody's been asking about Sal. It's okay. The question is, when is Sal coming over again? <laughs> well, New Year's. New Year's, yeah. When he's on his good behavior. Sal, if you're watching. All right, so we got a lot to do. Laura wanted to put the kids to work today. Whoa. That's why That's why she had them here. She said, kids, you're unboxing stuff. Oh my god, where'd you get the Laura Vitale soda can? Isn't that the coolest Isn't thing? Cool? The people from... So they had them made for me. The Coca-Cola people gave them to her. Wait, why are you keeping them not refrigerated? Well, I'm not going to use them. Because nobody has Laura Vitale. But it's good. Her salads are always so colorful, guys. They're always so colorful. We got olives, tomatoes, some lettuce. Always delicious. She whipped up the sauce like it was nothing. Whipped it up. She whipped it up. And now back to my point about corn. Now I see why people peel them open. See that? This I've never, in all the time I've been getting corn, I've never gotten a bad corn. And what did I get today? A bad corn because I didn't check. And it turns out 40 cents. Maria with her commentary over here. Yeah, but isn't Alex Rodriguez a steroid user? I don't know. Wasn't he blasted for steroid abuse? You guys? No idea. You guys get to figure that one out for us. I can't, I don't know. What else do we have? We have Isabel over here. She's in quiet mode right now. And uh, let's see, we got. Um, this is the stuff I don't even know what it is, but you claim I had it before. Yes, you have. It's like tofu cheese strings or something. It's tofu noodles. I thought it was cheese too. And what is this? Is this an injury? It's a uh, liquid lipstick that stays on like you would not believe. When they say it's waterproof, they don't play. Where's your Where's your actual injury? See, I thought she was looks trying. Looks like bacon. She was trying to twin you. She was. Don't touch it, girl. It's bad for you. Look at the clock trying to figure out what time it was. We are headed to New York City. We have got like a Google uh, event to go to tonight. Um, First, we got to get a car. Yeah, we have to go get a car at the rental at the rental place because my car is at the dealership getting um, fixed because when we hit that pothole a couple weeks ago, it like bent one of the rims or something. So that's getting fixed. So we want to get so get a, a rental car because of it. So we're gonna go pick that up now. Hopefully it's there. If not, we're just gonna go straight to New York. Well, I just here. Oh, okay, good. Just okay, good. So that is what we are up to. Um, my ribs still hurt, but there it is getting better. The doctor did say it could take up to four weeks for the pain to go away. So let's hope it's not gonna take four weeks, but it's definitely getting better. And I think tonight after dinner, we're gonna go to Rana because it's been months since we've been there. And Rana has great food, but my favorite thing about the my favorite my favorite uh, dish there is their escarole salad with like an anchovy dressing. It is so good, so addictive. I need it in my life, and I think we're gonna go there tonight. So I feel like a cop with my mirrored sunglasses, but I love them. They're from it might be no. Where are they from? I have no idea. No idea where they're from. I don't know if they're Ray Bans or Urban Outfitters. I think. One of those. Look how handsome he looks. <laughs> so anyway, I have a little, uh, I have a little jack, not jacket thing, but like a little thing to put over in case it's cold in the uh, in the office or whatever. So it should be good to go. Okay, so I guess it would have helped if I told you why we had to get a rental car, right? Maybe you can explain. By the way, we did get the rental car, and this well, is the, 
Chrysler 300. They gave Chrysler us. 300. Very nice. They originally were going to give us a uh, Ford, um, the big Ford SUV, and I was worried about getting it in a parking garage in New York because they have weird rules sometimes, and we kind of have to go to a specific lot because of where we're going. And I don't know if they'll even take that big of a car. Anyway, um, we are. My car needs an oil change. It's needed an oil change for a long time, and the tires on the front need to be replaced. So I was a little worried about bringing it to New York this time. I, I didn't notice this the tire thing until recently and I don't want to get a flat so um, that's why we rented it because the other cars in the shop the, the Audi and um, I don't want to take any chances I don't want my, my pretty lady stuck on the side of the road if it was just me I wouldn't care can we talk about something that's really phenomenal though like really amazing I can taste food again that's phenomenal that's great. Can I get some tapatia? I know. Tapatia is good on anything and everything. So, anyway, I'm really excited. I'm really, really, my gosh, my gosh, my gosh. Let's tell you, let's tell you, let's tell you. Four weeks until Santa Lania. Exactly four weeks until they get here. I need to make a sign so that I can wear at the she airport. She wants to wait at the international arrivals with a big poster. Yeah! Yeah! Welcome to America! Yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody's that? sign says welcome to America. Why don't you just take one of Mine is going to be take huge. Take one of the old ones left behind. Uh, okay, then what about flowers? Uh, balloons. Something normal. Balloons. No? What else can I bring to the airport to, to make them understand how excited I am? A cake. Oh, There yeah. you go. You bring them a cake. That way they can be pulling their bags along and trying to eat cake at the same time. I mean, Guys, tell me down below what I should bring to the airport. I want them to feel so welcome and excited. Obviously, I'll be there. I'll be there the night before. First spot. In a tent, like you're waiting for the <laughs> I'm so excited. I don't know what to do with myself. So, anyway, four weeks. And it's, it cannot get here fast enough. I'm so excited. What if so, they call and tell you that they're not coming because they're afraid of flying? They would never. Such a beautiful day today. When we got up this morning, um, we actually had to go to the to the car rental place this morning early. Um, to, to see if they had the car ready or whatnot. It was so beautiful. It was about 8.30 this morning and it was like 70 degrees, but it had like a light breeze. It almost felt like, a, I don't know, it's crazy, but it almost felt like a fall morning. It did feel like a fall Didn't morning. Didn't it? I do love the fall. And I'm slightly Street, excited for it. I'm East. trying not to get ahead of myself and really enjoy my summer, and I'm really, I really am, but I just can't help but get all like excited for fall. I just love everything that comes along with it. It's like coziness and pretty. It smells so good and food. We talk about Thanksgiving and holiday recipes. So I am getting a little ahead of myself. March on to Holland Tunnel East. What in the world? What what is this? This is a parking garage. No seriously, what is it? They look like I'm not like an engineer to you. What do I know what this is? It's a Calamac. It's a Calamac. We're gonna have to Google that. I, it doesn't make any sense. What's the car? So I asked the guy what the tanks are for. He says it's to make ice in the night. What? He says it's going to make ice in the night. I don't know what that means. I don't either. But I believe it means it's for the air conditioning system and it's some kind of crazy thing that I'm not familiar with. By the way, how's my hair? Am I losing my hair? This is what happens with girls these days. They wear heels, okay? Well, some women walk get, a mile and a half I made you. I, in four inch heels. We were, I was, there was five people walking. They were, you four, count? four people. And yet I'm the one that's the problem. Kevin, there are 15 people in this house and you're the I don't get, I'm not kidding about these tanks, guys. This is a parking garage. The tanks, there's like 400 of them. Seems like it's not baggages. cost effective. The baggages. You could be selling those parking spots instead you gotta put tanks in them. Baggages. Look how beautiful New York City is I'm at night. I'm only joking around, guys. I love Laura, but her feet always hurt her and I need to get her some Socks or something. <laughs> I have flat feet. There's no arch on my feet. Oh, don't make excuses about biology. It's true. And I've had heels on and I've been on my feet since 4 o'clock. And now it's 11.10. So that is a, that's a seven hours of being literally no sitting down. And my feet are... Can I tell you where I'm heading? Walking for three miles. We didn't end up going to Rana, by the way. We went to... No, we couldn't shoot vlog because we had to go to dinner with somebody with, from Google. So it was like, you know, we didn't want to be rude. We didn't vlog there. But we went to Rosa Mexicana, um, which was good. Didn't taste like Rana, but it was good. 
and what else? I'm gonna find a coffee. I'm gonna find a portable bathroom. One that I can put in my car. So I don't know what happened guys, for some reason there was no traffic a minute ago and now all of a sudden we're sitting perfectly still and it's been murder. Anyway, I want to show you this. In there is, I believe it's the largest video wall in the US, maybe? It's in the IAC building, we went there one night for a party, it was pretty cool. So that entire back wall of that first floor is a video screen. Well guys, it's 12.26. It's been two hours now that we've been sitting here in traffic trying to get into the tunnel. Lincoln Tunnel closed, my baby doll has fallen asleep and all I've got is this clock right here to keep me company? Doesn't that feel like the Twilight Zone? That's weird. I don't know what the point of it so is. So frustrating. Because you can set the clock there, and then when you do that, it's not synced up with the other clock. Maybe that's if we want to keep track on, keep track of the time in Naples. <sighs> this is ridiculous. Absolute ridiculousness. Apparently there was an accident. All I got is Twitter. Uh -huh. And um, people are saying there's an accident in the Lincoln and then that there's some kind of night construction going on. So they closed it. That sounds real logical. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's better than closing it during the day. I have no idea what's going on. Like the world's ending or something. I really don't know what's going on. This is the worst traffic that I've, this is the second worst traffic I've ever been stuck in. This is terrible. And um, probably the worst ever leaving the city. I mean, I mean, it's literally been two over two hours. We left at 10, 10, 11, it was like, we went for dinner. And now it's 12.35. And I don't know what's going on, there's like a thousand police officers. I don't, and they really, should, I mean, you close one tunnel, you should have traffic cops or something. I don't know, it seems like it's very poorly planned. And it turns out it is, it was, there is planned construction going on. So I don't know if that's the problem, but if it is, all I'm saying is, put somebody out here to direct traffic at your only working artery. Oh boy, folks. I don't know if I guys showed, I showed you guys these. I opened yeah. two of these already. I don't think I showed them. I showed them when we got them. To my little airplane versions. Where did the, where did the Kinder Egg go that goes with this? Your guess is as good as mine, bro. Hmm. Right. All right, now be careful. This is a limited edition. This is cool. It is cool, isn't it? Which one is it? It's an Airbus. No, which, um, oh, is it like the Airbus branded yeah. plane? Oh, that is so cool. It's the Airbus A330-300 version, Kinder Special Edition. And now you gotta make sure you put the sticker on straight because a certain somebody didn't put it on straight last time and I had to go back and redo it. This is a very important piece. And do we have any, the case they go in? I think it's dented though. This is like, it's like a science project. Dun dun dun, look how cool that is. That is nice. All right, so I gotta go find the other ones, and we'll put them all together at some point. I think for now we gotta go to sleep, though. We gotta go watch um, some Entourage. Let's do it. It's like a madhouse in here. You know, the first thing we gotta do, we gotta find the mozzarella before everybody else gets to it. Go, 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 go. We might have to settle for pearls today. I don't know. Uh, I have this. Is that the only one left? Oh, no, there's a few of them. Four. All right, then get them. Let's do this. We got Papa Giorgio coming over. All right, I like this one. This is a fresh one. It's not buffalo, but it's good. Let's roll. Let's do it. What are these? Oh, tomatillos? No. Oh, these are tomatillos. Oh, I guess so. It's odd, right? Or is that a green tomato? I think it's a green tomato, but these are tomatillos. Yeah, that's weird that they're in the same bin. All the choices. What are you planning on getting? Some plain roasted peppers. No, plain? Vinegar in them. Vinegar. Well, maybe they have them in that other one over there. In the olive one. That's a lot of olives, folks. A lot of olives. Guess who's back? Back again. Laura's back. Tyler, love, friend. Laura's back, Laura's back, Laura's back. I'm the worst at this song. All right, so we're back here making some wonderful content for you guys. We have some little magic cups coming up. Um, magical cups. And I got a mystery package in the mail today. It turned out it was a blind, because I had ordered some blinds, um, which ended up not being the right color. They were the right, they appeared to be the right color, but it looked like someone left them in the sun for a long time, and they kind of turned yellow a little bit. But they made good on it and sent me a replacement. There's only one of them was that way. The rest of them were 
It was kind of odd looking when you looked at them next to each other. Did you had one that was yellowish? This this is a problem. This is a problem? Yes. Am I, am I the cause of this problem? Yes. I must clear my equipment. Yes. All right. Found these avocados in my office, baby doll. What do you want me to do with them? In your office? Think about it now. YouTube you would food have channel. Avocados in your office. Why wouldn't I have avocados in my office? Good point. Where are my scissors? I might have used them outside to cut something. I washed off scissors? No, actually, I haven't touched them. Well, where are my washed off scissors? I don't know. I have you. You lose all my things. I have little itty bitty dinky scissors that I found in the garage when we moved in. Okay, the guy left them here in a box of tools. Well, I need my scissors back. So everything's my fault. You know what? Let me talk about things of mine that disappear, and I can never find them. Like, guys, I gotta tell you something. Pretty much every piece of mail that's ever entered this house. I gotta tell you guys something. I will never take my health for granted again. Because I finally start, I'm finally feeling you know, pretty good. Never again. It is it amazing is. how much like you can't function. You can't do anything. Oh, I hear somebody. I think they're here. <gasps> it... The baby. Baby Papa Giorgio. <laughs> Papa Papa Giorgio. Drop beer. With a box of beer. Yeah. What a gentleman. And baby Papa Giorgio and Caitlin Rogers, even though it's not her name, we just call her that. I call her that. Hey, buddy. Hey. I can't take it anymore. Oh, I gotta show you Sal and Elena's reaction when they oh, saw him. Totally it's right. so funny. Hey, little man. Come here. Come here. I never saw him this happy before. Well, because he sees Aunt Laura. Uh -huh. Wouldn't you be happy if you saw him? <gasps> hey, buddy. Oh, I miss. No meal. With Papa Giorgio, mm -hmm. ever occurs here without, without garlic roasting you on the grill. Some kind of garlic. It smells really good. So we got little pouches of garlic in here. What did you, what was the what, did you just cut them in half throw some olive oil in there? Yeah. Why are you oh, running around it's like got a crazy garlic. person? It's, it's the natural healer. It keeps you young. Keeps Look you at, young. I'm actually he's 72. 72. Yep, his birthday was last week. Mm -hmm. Big guy. He's. You've seen Chuck Norris. Now everybody in Italy thinks he's Chuck Norris. <laughs> Look at his marinade. But he's 72. Look at this, we got... Ooh, look at the sizzle. And of course, grilled corn. If you've never grilled corn this way, you're missing out. This Who's, is the best corn. Why is there one naked one? Huh? Why is one naked? Because I want to use this one for something else. Oh. Gotcha. Roger. And then this baby Papa Giorgio just staring at it, waiting for the day he can have solid food. Oh yeah, he's very excited. You smell that? That's the smell of a man. Meat and smoke. Mmm. We got the mozz. Wait, I don't know if you guys know this, but we went to Italy with Kate and Nick a couple years ago. I wish we had a vlog back then. I wish we had a vlog channel back then because it was a mozzarella fest. It was, oh my god. Oh my god. That's what it was. 13 pounds of mozzarella, that's what I ate. Kilos. It was like 48 kilos. <laughs> All right, we got fancy tomatoes. They got rid of the tomato dispenser at, at Wegmans. They did. They had a machine that was like a gumball machine, but without you didn't have to put quarters in it. You just rotate a crank. I never saw it. And that. all the tomatoes would come out. It was cool. They don't have any more. I don't like know what that's all about. <laughs> Look at art. this. Art. That is art. It is, it is magic. That is art. Does it need to go back on? Mm -mm. No. The waft. Oh, that's good. The way this, when you open it up, you get a whiff. Oh, did you see that? That's it right there. How do you feel about this? The guys are going to be sleeping in a different girl, a different <laughs> room than their girls tonight. I can tell you that. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Laura says to me earlier, this "What kind nice. of bread? What That's kind of bread do we want with this?" And I said, "All bread works with roasted garlic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just like everything works with." Look at his love. face. Look at him. He loves it. Oh, he wants to eat food so bad. Poor guy. Couple more weeks. Not even. Less than a week. No, less than two weeks. Sweetheart, do you need help back there? Got it. And after all the craziness is over and everybody goes home, where do you find Laura Vitale? Sitting in the kitchen. Sitting in her kitchen next to my avocados I found in my office. <laughs> They're still good.
good though. They are good. They've been in, they've only been there for a few days. Yeah. Never know when you're gonna need an avocado in your office. By the way, if you guys ever need to ripen an avocado, you put it in a bag with a banana. Bananas do the job. They, act, they actually make uh, tomatoes get ripened too. In fact, these tomatoes back here are from my tomato plant. But they're all messed up. The tomato plant bit the dust. And um... The big one? Yeah, the big one. What? It kind of didn't make it. But the lemon tree is doing quite well. Tomato plant bit the dust, but the lemon tree. What kind of weird bug is that on my arm? I mean, I've never seen one of those before. Seven lemons, all this size right now. Come on, camera. I know you don't like. Oh, it's foggy because the it's the humidity on the lens. So we have seven lemons right now. They all look pretty good. Hopefully, they. Um, I don't know how much bigger Mayor lemons get, but. These look pretty good to me, so I'm happy about this. All right, guys, I'm gonna go edit this vlog, get it up there. I started hanging the TV. <laughs> I started working on the TV project. I know it sounds simple, hang a TV on a wall. It is simple to hang a TV on the wall. I've hung lots of flat screen TVs on the wall. I did the one at the office and everybody commented and said, why'd you do the one at the office, but you didn't do the one at your house? Because I'll show you, you why. You knew where it was. Well, that's not why. Because there's a fireplace in the way. Normally, let me show you. I'm gonna go around on my tools here. Normally, you drill a hole in the floor and you run the wire up the wall to the TV, but the problem is there's a fireplace in the way. So you have to come up from over here and run up the wall and make a left. But in order to make a left, you gotta go through studs. And as you can see, the studs are in the way here. And then you got a nail plate over top of them or you gotta drill through the wood. It's complicated, okay? There's a lot more that needs to be done when you have a, a fireplace in the way. And in this house, you can't come up from outside. There's a lot of things in the way. It's gonna get done. Now that it's started, because you know how it goes when I start a project, what happens? You don't stop till it's done. Exactly. All right, so we'll see you guys in the next one. What do we have hey, planned this week? So we got two days in New York coming up. No, that's On the 27th and 28th. 28th no, 28th and 29th. So that's going to be fun. But we're in New York almost every week now at this point. It's crazy. That's in two weeks, though. So we have this week free, which is kind of cool. But we're doing something really cool with some, some, some YouTube people. We're going to a dinner and a show at Sleep No More. If anybody's been to Sleep No More, let us know. Also, um... We're babysitting Mike tomorrow. Babysitting Mike tomorrow. I'm starting to work out again on Monday, so please, please send some good vibes down my send way. Send the vibes. Things could go awry. I'm working out tonight. I actually shook my leg for a good half hour at dinner. <laughs> that was a good Baby Dominic melts my heart. How, you know what I was thinking? Baby Papa Giorgio. You know what I was thinking? How ridiculously lucky am I to have all these wonderful nieces and nephews in my life? You're very lucky. Isn't that just amazing though? Think about it. I mean, we have Haley, Bobby, we've got Fed, Brad, Dominic, little Laura, Aiden. The only a lot of little babies around. I know, it's very nice. Yeah. Well, give us a little love, guys. Thumbs up for babies. Thumbs up for babies. Less than four weeks. To, I'm going to give you a countdown every time we sign off until Lady and Sal get here. Less than four Less weeks. Less than four weeks. About 27 days. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Oh boy, here she goes with her construction zone. She's always inspecting. Look at that, it's a big hole. Oh, there's another one. Look at this, you're in luck. You are, today's your lucky day.